To send a message to another subscriber,
Mayor. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Welcome today to the regular scheduled meeting of the Mount Vernon Board of Estimate Contract for the 9:30 Tuesday, August 18, 2020 meeting in the Mayor's Conference Room on the first floor of City Hall. Okay, in compliance to social distancing, seating capability of this room is limited for the public. Madam Mayor, we do have a, a bid opening to okay. start with. So we just open. So the Board of Estimates and Contract meeting for Tuesday, August 18, 2020 um, is open. Call to order. Proceed from there. It is 945. As a point of order, we uh, have a roll call. call. Roll call. Yes. Thank you. Okay. The roll call is proceeding. Controller Reynolds. Controller Reynolds is in her office. We have attempted to call her so that she can engage. We've sent someone downstairs. Her We've called her office, we've sent someone down again to give her the phone number. Um, we do see that she called at 9.31, we called her back, and we've also sent people down to give her the number again. So, we're gonna proceed. Council President Copeland? Here. And Mayor Passon Howard? Here. Roll call completed at 9.46. We have a first order item of order on the agenda is a bid of sorry a bid opening for equipment rentals and sewer repair for the city of New York. It was an ad two ads placed in the journal news. The first ad being on July 20th, 2020. City of Mount Vernon, correct? I'm sorry. Thank you for correcting. City of Mount Vernon, New York. Thank you. Okay. First ad being placed in the journal news on Monday, July 20th, 2020. Second ad being placed on Wednesday, July 29th, 2020. On the legal notice, receipt of proposals, equipment rental and sewer repair for the city of Mount Vernon, New York. Okay. This, this proposal will be received by the city clerk of the city of Mount Vernon in the city clerk's office, room 104, City Hall, 1 Roosevelt Square, Mount Vernon, New York, until August 18th, 2020 at 9.30 a.m., at which time they will be publicly open and read aloud at the regular meeting of the Board of Estimate and Contract in the Mayor's Conference Room, Room 107, City Hall, Mount Vernon, New York. So, so reads the ad. ad. Um, what we have on bidder, so um, he's going to take a look and 
evaluate the way that we get those reports back to this board. And just for the record, you said we've only had one person who did it on twice. Twice. So we've gone out for this bid twice. We usually would like to be able to select from three, but this is not the first time um, that we've gone out to bid and we've only had one company reply. Um, the same thing happened with the Memorial Field cleanup project. We had, you know, not many bidders. Um, so right. Mount Vernon has a bad reputation on paying their bills timely, and that definitely has an impact on people deciding to do business with the city of Mount Vernon. So we can try and go out and follow our procurement policies and procedures, but if bills are not being paid in a timely manner, we cannot force people to bid on projects, and so therefore, we have to move forward on our projects. I just would like to add that the, the, the results of the last two bids confirms what we said earlier. Mm -hmm. the, the, um, ben, the current vendors, some of who had been doing business with the city since 2014, mm -hmm. the bid had expired. We continued to use them because of what we knew, um, but this is just to further demonstrate that um, with confirming what we know is that this is the person that's willing to do business with the city at this time. Okay, All right, so, we all, so there's no video? There's no How is that? Well, How it's crude so because it, it's difficult to ascertain what a big bond amount would be because it's an ordinary rental contract. So they don't know how much uh, they're going to bid. So when they come back, they're going to do a report they're going to do an estimate, and then that's how they're going to determine how much. What are you going to do? I'm okay. I, I'm, I'm just okay. saying. I mean, the, you know, the city I said what I had to say. Okay. <laughs> okay. If I may add to the record, uh, Madam Mayor, there were a total of three vendors who who came for bids. Who uh, picked them up. The full, who picked up the package, right? One and one return. So I think the process was served by repeating the process because we did repeat the process to get the information out and fortunately was treated to confirm your conversation earlier. We can Thank enforce the issue of the bid bond right. and then probably we have nobody who's going to comply with the requirements and have no one to do business with. And why do you get a bid bond, Corporation Council? So you get a bid bond to make sure that they sign the contract on the phone as well. Big bond is to make sure that they hold steady to the contract amount that they put in for the bid. That's the purpose of the big bond. And this is not just for one project. It can be for this is for any service for emergency repair. Right. So they so use a combination. The they use a combination of equipment and personnel, which makes okay. it difficult. If we have the personnel and the professionals on staff. We use them, mm -hmm. um, and of course, you incur a lot of overtime. You know, this it's well on the public side since sewer repair issues in the city has. Mm -hmm. So we don't know what personnel we're going to need for a particular job. If we have expertise, we use other people. If we don't, we use their people. We don't know what equipment we're going to need. If we have the appropriate equipment to respond to the sewer repair, we do. If we don't, we don't. We have the ability to call them and say, this is the equipment we need to for the sewer repair. So any of our sewer issues that we can handle on our own between staff and equipment, we do. Yes, if it exceeds the ability of our staff or the um, level of our staff's cap capacity, yes, then we will go out and use um, another agency for emergency well, sewer repair mm -hmm. as well. Well, right now they yeah. haven't received right. anything, so right. you know, speaking, we will oh, go yeah. out and use someone else, uh, as well as if we don't have the proper equipment. The sewers have been an issue in Mount Vernon. We're under a consent decree, and so we have to fix the sewers. Okay. Right, right. And it should be noted that uh, originally, I don't know what this situation held, but they had held their 2014 prices up until this time, despite the fact that they were not being paid time. Proceeding with the regular agenda, resolutions, approving ordinances. Item number one, 
authorizing the mayor to enter into an agreement with Cityscape Consultants, Inc. at 5G Wireless. So moved. Seconded. Other questions? Hearing none. Thank you, Council President Copeland. Aye. And Mayor Patterson Howard. Aye. Item number two is authorizing transfer of funds within the Department of Public Works for the sum of $15,989. So moved. Seconded. Any questions? Hearing none. Roll call. Council President Copeland. Aye. Mayor Patterson Howard. Aye. Item number three is off is requesting permission to add the position of senior accountant within the board of water supply. So moved. Seconded. Any questions? Hearing none. Roll call. Council President Copeland. Aye. Mayor Patterson Howard. Aye. Okay. Item number four is requesting permission to add two positions of water maintenance worker within the Board of Water Supply. So moved. Seconded. Any questions? Um, just for the I, record. I was going to wait to the end. Uh -huh. That's what I'm like going to put. I bet we So, I mean, we can do it up. You want to do it on the back end or on the front end? I was going to say it again. Would you like to give an explanation if you can do it loudly? We probably need to. So, because we're being filmed, we're being recorded, so we want to make sure that your explanation is picked up on the record. For the record, it's a comment on the motion. I'm sorry? It's a comment on the motion. Okay. Okay, for the record, I was advised, and I'm going to ask a friend of yours to jump in um, if I don't have the total information, but I was advised that. Uh, all these positions for the Board of Water Supply um, that request permission to be on the resolution was uh, with regards to the um, definition or the language not included in the 2020 budget. And so they had to do some um, language uh, addition and reclassification of some positions. That's not for the Board of that's not for the uh, Board of Water Supply.
And I also, so we know that as the commissioner requested, he needed to expand the number of crews that he was using. Yes. Just for the record, the Board of Water Supply is self-funded through their revenues, so this is not additional expenditures for the city based on the tax and the regular city budget. Um, the Board of Water Supply has their budget outside of the traditional city budget, and this does not in, um, impact any tax increases. We also know that due to COVID, we have to do change the way that we do business. And so we have to operate using smaller crews. We have to operate using smaller crews so that we reduce the risk of COVID being transferred between workers as they are oftentimes down in the hole. Right. So the way that we have to do business has changed. The increase of demand on the water board has, has you know, there's been an increase in demand for services for repairs to our aging um, system. And so we need additional um, staff and laborers who are the ones who go down and dig up the streets and fix the equipment. Um, so we need these additional positions. They are funded through the revenues brought in through the Board of Water Supply. And that's what we're asking for at this time. Okay, just wanted to make sure that we were explaining it so that the public fully understood that these are self-funded through the Board of Water Supply. We need to change the way we're doing business um, because of COVID and the increased demand. And then the senior accountant, the Board of Water Supply, is fully financially independent. Um, and the millions of dollars that they bring in requires them to have a senior accountant to make sure that the records um, that we're keeping are accurate that we can do timely audits, which we know we've been several years behind in audits, yeah. and we are catching up on audits so that they can maintain their status. And then we've changed over to a different um, accounting software that requires someone with higher level skills to make sure that we are getting the proper data, information, and outputs that we need to efficiently um, run the financial operations of the water department. That's correct. Okay. So. Are you slow with that? I understood it. I just wanted to make sure that the council meeting. Yeah, right. It did go unanimous, and that doesn't happen all the time. Yeah, that's, that's a clue. Right. This was passed. Right. 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 It was right. passed right. unanimously. But for the record, this yes. is a separate meeting, and yes. if people didn't yes. watch the council meeting, yes. we want to make sure that people have a full understanding of why we are taking the actions. All right. So we can call for the vote. Thank you, ma'am. You have Council President Popa? I say you. No, we're on number four. That's correct, for item number Aye. four. Thank you. And for item number four, Mayor Patrick Hines? Aye. Thank you. Okay. Item number five is requesting permission to add three positions of labor within the Board of Water Supply. So moved. Seconded. On the question. This is the same explanation as the last one. Uh, can we call for the roll? Hearing no questions. Council President Copeland. Aye. Mayor Patson Howard. Aye. Thank you. Item number six is requesting permission to add four positions of labor within the Board of Water Supply. So moved. Seconded. On the question. Hearing none. Can we call for the vote? Mayor Patson Howard. I'm sorry. Uh, Council President Copeland. Aye. Mayor Patson Howard. Aye. Thank you. I just want to ask, should we take another moment to try and call the controller who is downstairs to see if she wants to join this meeting or not? Or should we proceed? I think we should proceed. Right after the council meeting on Tuesday, there's a board of meeting. Yeah. Not a special meeting. Right. So the regular one, then we'll proceed. All right, so we will continue. Item number seven is authorizing the mayor to enter into an agreement with Westchester Putnam Workforce Development Board the 2020 TANF Summer Youth Equipment Program for the sum of $47,000. So moved. Seconded. On the question. Hearing none. Council. I'm sorry, Council President Coco. Aye. Mayor Patson Howard. Aye. Thank you. Item number eight is authorizing the mayor to enter into an agreement with Interactive Health LLC at Mount Vernon Youth Bureau Mount Vernon Strong Program for the sum of $55,000. So moved. Second. On the question. Hearing none. 
Welcome to the group. Mayor. Um, Council President Copeland. Aye. Mayor Patterson Howell. Aye. Thank you. Item number nine is authorizing the mayor to enter into an agreement with Westchester Putnam Workforce Development Board, the WPWEB Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act, that's the WIOA, Youth Employment Services Program for the sum of $281,000. So, second on the question. Hearing none, welcome to the vote. Council President Copeland? Aye. Mayor Patterson Howard? Aye. Thank you. Item number 10 is authorizing the mayor to enter into an intermunicipal agreement with the Westchester County Youth Bureau for training and work experience for the sum of $13,571. So moved. Second. Any questions? Hearing none. Roll call. Council President Copeland? Aye. Mayor Patterson Howell? Aye. Item number 11 is granting permission to the Youth Bureau to purchase 200 laptops. So moved. Second. On the question. Just for the record, we purchased 200 laptops to support our summer youth employment students who participated in our summer youth employment program. Um, as you know, we're in a COVID environment and so everything had to be done remotely. Uh, and we ran a virtual summer, a series of virtual summer youth employment programs and um, supportive services programs. And that's what these laptops are being purchased for. And they are being purchased using our money from our 21st century um, grant, which we received from the New York State Department of Education, again, at no cost to the city of Mount Vernon. Um, roll call. Thank you. Council President Copeland? Aye. Mayor Patterson Howell? Aye. Item number 12 is granting permission to the Youth Bureau to purchase 1,200 face shields. So moved. Second. On the question, again, this is a COVID-19 uh, expense being paid for through their grant. Can we call for the vote? Council President Copeland? Aye. Mayor Patterson Howell? Aye. Thank you. Item number 13 is amending ordinance number 14, adopted February 13, 2020, entitled an ordinance authorizing the mayor to enter into an intermunicipal agreement with the Westchester County Youth Bureau. So moved. Second. On the question. We call for the roll. Council President Copeland? Aye. Mayor Patterson Howell? Aye. This one thing I forgot with regards to 11 and 12. And with regards to this um, 2017, the New York State Education 21st Century Learning Center. We, the council would like an update of um, the census on it since it began. Because every time we always pass, but we don't know oh, the status of an update on that. Um, is this the well, kind of information that I was posting on the bond that has the bond mm -hmm. that we call it from? Absolutely. So the 21st Century Learning Grant is $1.2 million. Um, and we can give an update based on our records. We have not been able to get an update on expenditures out of the controller's office, and so we will utilize what we have submitted to give an update on those expenses. We have not been able to um, reconcile our expenses with the controller's office because she is not providing us with any reports. So we can tell you what we've submitted to her, but we can't confirm what she has paid out yet. But we Thank provide you. that report. Thank you. Item number 14 is authorizing the Department of Public Safety Chief and Deputy Chief of Operations to join the New York State Chiefs of Police Association. So moved. Second. On the question. Hearing none, roll call. Council President Copeland? Aye. Mayor Patterson Howard? Aye. Item number 15 is authorizing the mayor to enter into an agreement with the Division of Criminal Justice Services for the New York State Department of Criminal Justice Services Gun Involvement Violence Elimination 2020 and 2021 grant. So Second. One question. Hearing none. Council President Copeland. 
Aye. Mayor Patterson Howard. Aye. Item number 16 is authorizing <coughs> the mayor to enter into an agreement with the Division of Criminal Justice Services for the New York State Department of Criminal Justice Services Gun Involved Violence Elimination 2019 and 2020 grant. So moved. Second. Other questions? So just for the record, um, items number 16, as well as the next one, 17, we're going back to accept grants um, that had not been accepted in the past. So we've already operated these grants, executed the contracts, um, spent the funds, and we need to uh, get reimbursement from the state on these grants. We've been trying to work with the controller's office to do this, but we are going back and just doing what we could not find record of, which was accepting these so that the controller will work with us to get the reimbursement. The reimbursement amounts for the two programs combined are about $400,000. Um, and these monies were supposed to be lost and recouped by the state on May 1st. Um, but we are still in touch with DCJS working with them so that we do not lose these funds. So, roll call. Council President Copeland? Aye. Mayor Patterson Howard? Aye. Thank you. Item number 17 is authorizing the mayor to enter into an agreement with the Division of Criminal Justice Services for the New York State Department of Criminal Justice Services Gun Involved Violence Ed Elimination for the 2018 and 2019 grant. So moved. Second. Other questions? Same. Roll call. Council President Copeland? Aye. Mayor Patterson Howell? Aye. Thank you. Item number 18 is granting permission for two members of the police department to attend a course dated 914 through 918, 2020. So moved. Second. Other questions? Hearing none, roll call. Council President Copeland? Aye. Mayor Patterson Howell? Aye. Item number 19 is to pre-classify the title of, to reclassify the title of Senior Keyboard Specialist to record clerk within the Department of Public Safety. So moved. Second. Other questions? Hearing them, there's no change in salary, there's just a change in title and in function, expanded function. Okay. So you can call for the roll call, please. Council President Copeland? Aye. Mayor Patterson Howard? Aye. Item number 20 is designating Zarin and Steinmetz for a future entity as escrow agent to establish and manage escrow accounts necessary in review of land use application before the city council. So moved. Second. Other questions? So, would you like to explain why we designated? There seems to be a, a um, backlog, hold up, um, lack of movement with regard to escrows being deposited. So we had to come up with a creative way to move these uh, applications over. Uh, I believe the city of White Pines also did something similar. And that's where we got the idea. Uh, uh, here's where the controller's uh, inquiry would have been very useful uh, to understand. We want you to speak loud, yeah. so. Here's where the uh, controller's input would have been very useful because she would have been uh, integral part of establishing the city's uh, escrow accounts uh, and for whatever reasons known to her um, her office was not able to get it done um, and we really need land use projects to be moving right now everything is at a standstill and um, I mean, obviously that can't happen right we need to move along the land use projects I get calls almost daily about people who are stuck in of trying to work with the city. So, um, as and, and even on Cass County Council legislation, we paid out of our budget, out of our county. 
my knowledge, there's a large amount of scam there, too, unless that's been rectified. I don't know. Right. So, um, Mr. I don't know. I'll on the question. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Zarin had been working with the comptroller's office, um, and the engagement seemed to be pretty circular and it did not produce what was needed. So, as an extreme measure, um, we so basically, to that. basically, economic development projects in the city of Mount Vernon have been stalled without explanation for the comptroller's office's failure to open escrow accounts to work with our economic development partners. The reason that these escrow accounts are open because when we're doing land use projects, we have to do studies around environmental impact, parking studies, traffic studies to make sure whatever projects are being um, looked at for advancement that they are good for the city. And so it is the economic development partners developers responsibility to pay for our um, consultants and, and to pay for these studies, but because the controller has not received or at least deposited and cashed these deposits um, and been able to pay for these studies on behalf of the city and the consultants that we hired to ensure that these projects are the best for Mount Vernon, um, these projects have stalled. And so the council in its wisdom and within the scope of their powers has decided to go externally because they do have the right to open up the accounts on behalf of the city, especially for land use. And so we are going with a third party to receive these. This is pass through money. It's not necessarily income right. for the city and it's not any expense to the city, but the developers will deposit money in these accounts. The third party will receive it and pay the expenses back out for such studies. Right. That's accurate? That's accurate. And, and, and you know, while the law department has taken steps to have an attorney dedicated to land, these projects are complex redevelopment projects that are, you know, where you need special counsel. That it is the standard, it's right. the standard process for any municipality Absolutely. throughout the country. So Mount Vernon needs land use specific consultants um, for big multi-million dollar projects and the developers pay for the cost of this so that the studies can be done on behalf of the city of Mount Vernon. And that's why we are designating Zara and Steinitz um, to oversee escrow accounts. Okay, I just wanted to again put that on record so that the public could understand what we're doing and why we are doing it. So if you can call for the vote. Council President Copeland. Uh, aye. Thank you. Item number 20, Mayor Patterson House. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Item number 21 under settlements is settling the claim of Ronald Morgan for $750. So moved. Seconded. And the question? Hearing none. Roll call. Council President Copeland. Aye. Mayor Patterson House. Aye. Item number 22 is settling the claim of James Lang for $15,000. So moved. Seconded. On the question? Hearing none. Roll call. Council President Copeland. Aye. Mayor Patterson Howell. Aye. Item number 23 is minimum and maximum classified service. That's 2020 language. This should, um, let the record reflect, this, this item should be under salary um, amendments. This is um, basically, there was some language um, that we were being told by the comptroller's office that was not in the original 2020 language for the union uh, employees. And so we didn't have the assistance that we typically have for George Townsend, to, I'm the person assigned from the comptroller's office to review it, so we uh, did it in-house, and so now we're collecting it with the hopes that everyone can be promptly paid what they're due. Thank you. Roll call. Council President Copeland. Aye. Mayor Patterson Howell. Aye. Item number 24 is Law Department Legal Investigator. 
someone second on the question? Uh, yes. So um, at, at the beginning of the year, we gave out grades um, to uh, the staff member of the department, well deserved. Um, however, one of the things we corrected was uh, the staff issue. It created an issue um, of giving him more money than I believe that was entitled based on the staff. So it was just a correction. So it's lower? Yeah, yeah actually. Is the Department of Public Works Commission Deputy Commissioner? Someone second on the question. Hearing none. Roll call. Council President Copeland. Aye. Mayor Patterson Howard. Aye. Item number 26 under salaries 2020 is the Board of Water Supply Superintendent Local 456 CSEA. Someone seconded on the question. This, this is this is um, for those positions. Oh, the ones that yeah. listed. Oh, okay. I, but we did do this one earlier, right? Many years. Yeah. Oh, we did seven salaries for that as well. No, no, I, I get that, but. We did do the water department generally earlier. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, that yes. Was my yes, yes. This is just with the new committee. Yes. Right. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah change is New York General Municipal Law Electronic Funds Transfer, quote, unquote. Uh, uh, so moved. So moved. Oh, seconded on the question. So it was on the language issue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And one would be more specific. One would be as specific as possible. Right. So just for the record, this um, resolution is bringing the city of Mount Vernon through the controller's office under compliance with state best practices that were issued out of the New York State Controller's Office that any electronic fund transfers be treated the same way as assigning checks, that there be a counter signature. Um, up until this time in the year, the controller has been doing electronic fund transfers without the co-signature of the mayor. So there has been no checks and balances on what she does with electronic funds. Um, and so just like checks have to be countersigned by the controller and the mayor, any electronic fund transfers will have to be counter uh, authorized by the controller and the mayor. And this is the standard process throughout the state as per um, designated by the New York State Office of the Controller. So we're just codifying what already had previously existed. Right? That the city of Mount Vernon, through our local controller, had not been in compliance with what the state guidelines are. And so we are now coming into compliance. As now we're now passing legislation. We're now passing. That doesn't mean yes. we're coming into compliance. Now we're going to pass yeah. legislation so that the controller will come into compliance. And anything after that will be on a going forward basis. So we want to make sure that we have, and I want to thank the city council um, again. I, I know back on August 4th, 5th, we passed a series of city ordinances that would more that would bring more clarity, clarity, and um, provide better guidelines, instructions um, for the controller to be more transparent in providing the council, the mayor's office, and this administration with the financial information, interim reports, um, fund balances, financial projections, um, listing of bank accounts and where they are so that we can have more information to operate, to fiscally manage the city of Mount Vernon. So thank you. Um, this has been a long time coming. Everything has to have checks and balances, and it is very difficult to make responsible decisions 
on behalf of the city and the finances when you have no access to financial information or records. So thank you, City Council President. All right. Um, roll call. Council President Copeland. Aye. Mayor Patterson Howard. Aye. That's the end of the agenda. Are there any new business, President, that you want to put there? Okay. No. So we could, I'm moving again. And I second it. Roll call on adjournment. Council President Copeland. Aye. Mayor Patterson Howard. Aye. Meeting is adjourned at 1025.